Hey viewers and viewers, you're watching So You're Being Hunted with me, General Red. Welcome back to a brand new Let's Play. So, as you remember last time, in the last episode we pretty much completed that robot hunting challenge. Went badly. <laughs> well, I mean, we were doing well at first, but then we got killed. Which wasn't good. But, people have been asking for me to do another Let's Play, and so the feedback they left on that last video was overwhelmingly, well... I say overwhelmed, well, basically positive. Yes, people want to see this. So, you know what? Let's do it. Now, I'm playing as the usual... Uh... Very useful. Oh. Now you can observe your pursuers while keeping a safe distance. Oh, God, I don't mean to do that. Ah, oh, Walters, I've not heard you for a long time. Now, what was I saying? Um, I was saying something, I think, wasn't I? Excellent. You've found one. Oh, come here. Return that fragment to the God, I doing that. and leave it there. You'll be one step closer to home. Yes. Okay, standing stones, put that in there. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. Okay, so return one, 16 remaining. That's the thing. Um, in one of the previous updates, the developers did actually uh, change the device um, piece number. I think it used to be like 25 total, but now it's gone down to like 17. Forgive me, sir. Oh. But perhaps it's worth mentioning that your tweeds should keep you well hidden, provided you keep to the heavier foliage. Okay, I've never heard that hint before. <laughs> That's new. Well, I don't know. Is, is that new? Is that something that, that was added recently? Or is that something that's been there for a while now, but I've just never really noticed it? because I've had Mr. Walters turned off. And he's been there for like the last couple of updates. Ah, we have a village here. As you can probably tell, I am using customised biomes here. I've tried to like set the irons to biomes that are similar to the default ones, but slightly souped up to make them a bit it more interesting. Like there's something useful in there. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too closely. Uh, pliers, take those. Uh, can I put that in there? Yes, I can. There we go. We've never really used traps before, I have to say. I'm going to have to really see if we can actually do something with them this time. There's a lot of stuff um, which I never really used in my original Let's Play. Like the trombones, for example. Uh, did I check this building out over here? I don't think I did. Cat food, we can actually just eat that straight off the bat. There is actually another alarm clock in there. I'll take that. Stealth implements are always good. Uh, can pie, we'll take that. We've already got pliers, don't need those. Uh, it's in this door. Might as well uh, just raid this entire village whilst we're at it, since there is pretty much uh, nobody here to stop us. In here, there is nothing. Uh, side. A ham. Um, go on, we'll take that. Might as well. It's always useful. Uh, we cannot fit through that gap. Deary me. Uh, Stilton cheese, extra bandages. Yes, we'll take those. Good. Uh, is there a door around here? Yes, there is. Dense fruitcake. Right, that will probably do for us for food for the time being. Um, best to leave some back so that uh, we don't end up just raiding it all at once. Uh, there's nothing else in this village by the looks of it. Okie doke. Um, standing stones are back over in that direction. There is the balloon up there. Uh, I don't see any robots at the moment, which is good. I didn't uh, edit the uh, robot spawn rate, so they should just spawn in at the default speed. So for the time being, it should just be hunters. But obviously, as the game progresses, we will see more and more enemies appearing. Okay... We've got some telephone boxes over here. Fish and chips, we'll leave that. We don't need that at the time being, since we have so much food. That's a big village down there. Or it might be actually a couple of villages that have spawned in very sort of close proximity to each other. That's actually what I was going to say uh, slightly earlier. The biomes, uh, as I said, I'm using custom biomes, um, but I've tried to make them so that they are reminiscent of the default biome. So, uh, for the centre, we're going for sort of like a souped-up kind of rural biome, which is all well and good. For the North Island, we're going for like a slightly tweaked mountain biome. 
slightly tweaked fens biome for the South Island. Oh, I hear robots. Uh, oh god, um, let's take that whiskey because we might want a bottle. Where are they? Oh god, there they are. I see him. No, oh, fucking pheasant. Did he just fly into a wall? Oh, he's there. Let's jump across. No, I don't think he did fly into a wall. Okay, never mind. Um, saying a slightly tweaked industrial biome for the East Island and a tweaked castle biome for the West Island. So there you go. Those are the customised biomes we're using for this Let's Play. So hopefully that's all well and good. It's getting night time. I don't have a torch, do I? No, I don't. Hmm, not a problem. We'll just have to deal with it. Oh, hang on, there's some wisps down there. Where are they going? I suppose we should just follow these, then. Seriously, where are you going? Are you coming this way or going... No, you're coming this way. Okay. Right, so let's get following you, then. Hmm. Oh, God. That uh, lagged a bit, then. Just taking a screenshot for thumbnail purposes. Oh, where did that wisp go? There he is. Or it, it rather, not he. <laughs> okay, right. Um, right. You're going up here. So is there a device piece somewhere nearby? Not that I can see anything at the moment. Um, oh, I've got some really good sort of undulating terrain here. I quite like it. Let's get another screenshot, like that. I always take screenshots from time to time. That way I've uh, got plenty of material to use for my thumbnails. That is a nice big open area, that is. Wow. That's the standing stones down there. Okay. I see. There is actually a robot down there. I see him. Wisp! You're going straight towards him. What are you playing at? Oh dear god. Um. Ugh. God, there's one robot there. And then he's got, like, his near identical twin there. Where are they going? There isn't anything over here, is there? Let's have a look. No, not by the looks of it. Or is there? No, I don't think so. Right, so the wisps appear to have headed, uh, headed straight through the village. Okay. I can see one of them just disappearing into that building. Let's give these robots a wide berth. So they don't see me. Okay. There's a doorway there that's sort of uh, glitching through that uh, wall. Come on, keep running. If I can refine that wisp. There it is, down there. Oh, I see a device piece. Is there anyone by it? Not by the looks of it. Oh, sweet. God, this is a bit of a weirdly generated area. See, the device piece is actually generated right in the middle of the pathway. That's interesting. Right, come on. Let's get a device piece. We can make a start in our first episode on uh, getting some progress cleared. I bet it's a big piece, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. Right. I suppose we could do a little bit of exploring, probably. Let's just check this village out. Obviously, um, I don't have any weapons yet, but it's always worth checking the villages in case there are any. Uh, in here, no. I have to remember to check some of the back doors as well. No, there's nothing in that one. Um, nothing there either. Uh, nope. <laughs> Patriotic crockery. God save the Queen. Very interesting. There's a lot of items in Sir which don't actually have any use still. Just eat that cat food. Can eat that straight away. Is it worth me taking that alarm clock? Go on, we'll take that. Hmm. Weed killer. Let's see. Uh, nothing there except white mushrooms, which you can actually eat to restore 20 health po uh, vitality points, rather. That's something about the. Um, uh, what was I going to say? About the uh, white mushrooms. When I first started playing, I always assumed they were bad for you. Turns out they're not. Even Oh god. You are a bit close for comfort, aren't you? 
Never mind, we'll just go in the opposite direction then. Let's uh, see in this ruined industrial building over here if there's anything actually in here. Because there's a good chance there's like a barrel. There it is. Ooh, matches for lighting fires. Yes, that's a match box. So I'll take that because we can get unlimited use out of it. Which is all very well and good. Definitely what we want. Oh, can't jump over that fence. The wisps are now off up here, apparently. But uh, we'll avoid them for the time being. Whilst we just get this... Oh, God. Slightly uh, malformed fence there. Oh, God. I just have to jump to get over that. I just hope that my uh, custom uh, terrain generation settings don't end up screwing the map over. Because obviously the last thing we want is to go to, like, some device piece which is uh, trapped on top of, like, some crag or something which we can't get to. Because that would obviously ruin the let's play. But fingers crossed that won't happen. Here we are, standing stones. Let's have a look. Uh, here we go. And that one in. Excellent. We're making progress. You might survive this after all. So hang on, how many? 15 more. Okay, and there's... Uh, Three more on the centre island, I get it. So that'll take us down to 13. Be very but... observant, sir. What? Startled wildlife could help you to spot your pursuers. The eyes and ears of local fauna might be sharper than your own. They must have added, like, a load of new hints that Walters gives you every so often, because I've not heard that either. So there's that one before as well. I have to keep listening. He certainly is giving me quite a few interesting tips about being observant and using uh, the fauna to my advantage. Oh, look at that, it's a giant sort of ruined um, abbey over here. Okay, we'll probably get another screenshot of that. Appears to be a random robot down there in that ruined village. Oh god, and there is a robot there in there. There in there. <laughs> I see. Dear me. Wow, what's going on around here? Is there anything near this ruined building? Apart from the uh, uh, fireplace that I can light if I want. Not by the looks of it, I can hear quite a few robots, so it might not be a good idea coming over here. Tell you what, we'll head back to the Standing Stones, and I think I'll then wrap uh, this episode up. Okay, come on. Let's just hope no one sees me. <laughs> Cause that would be bad. That'd be quite bad. There's the standing stones. Here we are. We're safe. Okay. Ooh, okay. Right. Come on. Okay, here we go. So, this was episode one of my brand new Let's Play of Sir You Are Being Hunted. Let me all know what you're thinking so far. You know, obviously... People have asked to see this, but, you know, obviously for the sake of further positive reinforcement, to put it like that, feel free to leave comments telling me whether you think this is a good idea or not. Um, and uh, that will obviously be helpful. And uh, hopefully, here's to a new and fruitful uh, series. So, hope you all join me for episode two when I get around to doing that. And in the meantime, this is General Red, signing off. Goodbye!